Hello, y'all, and thank you for coming back to another segment of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Well, I can, can, and I can, can, and I can, 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 and I will. Okay, we got Lauren out here. Child, please. Dish and dirt on Bravo. The Daily Dish. She's going around here saying she took a picture of her family. <laughs> it's titled Lauren Williams Post the Cutest Family Photos from the End of Her Cancun Trail. I'm like, girl, your stepsister, Portia. Okay, whether y'all want to put stepsister in there or not. Y'all are stepsisters. Y'all only share a, a, a dad. Okay, but you got to stop playing the fence, Lauren. Are you going to be for Dennis or are you going to be for Simon? Because it's like you're just trying to be with both of them to see wherever Portia lands or whatever man. And then you're going to be trying to be cool with both of them. Okay? Your daddy pretty much screwed both of y'all up royally. Okay? Because somehow y'all took on his traits. But I'm glad you got a centered mom that's there to tell you what's right, what's wrong. And she don't like being on camera that much. Okay? But why are you taking up? for um simon okay why are you taking up for portia why are you saying this is a real relationship when you know it's just hodgepodge okay it's full of shit but i know portia's probably paying you on portia family matters and you'll probably get a little something when you film with her on the real housewives of atlanta but don't you know there's a woman, a white woman, a Caucasian woman, acting like Karen running around here. She wants her two hundred thousand dollars. She's gonna put her in a lawsuit on Mr. Simon. And your sister's gonna help pay for that, I am pretty sure. But, you know, that's just your family. Chaoticness, period and point blank. Now, you ain't got a horse in this race, cause technically, uh, the only person that was family filming with you all was by default your aunt uh your your dad's sister and your half sister portia other than that you had no relative there dennis is not your relative he just happens to be your stepsister's sister's baby daddy and of course these other people that she's been flaunting around with they're not your family they really are not so how the show came to be is still beyond me don't understand it Okay, you belong on that side of Jose Williams, which is that first man to the left. Okay, and you have this legacy that he has left. Your father's side of the family. But you don't have no uh, horse in this race. Horse just set all y'all up. And then this pretty picture that you're saying, a, a pretty picture of your family. Girl, Lundy is your cousin on your dad's side. And y'all not really that tight, that close. Portia is your half sister. Pick a side. You with Simon or you with Dennis. Okay. Pick a side. You can't love them equally both. Alright. And stop trying to look more so like your sister. Be yourself child. Be yourself. Seems like you have more fun with Dennis. And to tell you the truth. If y'all did hook up. Y'all would be a nice looking couple as well. Portia probably wouldn't like it, wouldn't stand for it either. Probably throw you out the family. But as I hear on those streets, y'all already done threw her out the family. And it's just a matter of time that y'all gonna mend y'all sell back together because y'all are a chaotic, dysfunctional family. Alright? It just is what it is. Just is what it is. Because Diane ain't even really your mama. You know? She's just somebody you know. She's Portia's mom. Alright? can't really say if she was a mom to you but it just is what it is we already know how your daddy get down okay but anyway just to go for hind's sake into the story that the daily dish had brought out on you all it says Portia Williams sister just dropped an adorable snapshot from the family getaway on the Real Housewives of Atlanta this is the picture that they are referring to don't know where it was taken because I'm still trying to figure out where the hell Storm at. You got just Portia's assistants and her cousin Lundy stuck in the middle. But if it really was supposed to be a photo of the family, why the hell is Dom and Lauren, Portia's assistant, in there? They're not family. Here we go again. But at least we have Storm in that particular picture. But the one on the left and the one on the right, the guy, Dom and Lauren's assistant, uh... Or Portia's assistant, Lauren, to the left with the black dress. They ain't family. All the family's that's the three. Portia, Storm, 
and Lundy. Okay? It's a hot mess. But anyway, that's just my observation. Going back to the article, it says every week on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia Family Matters, viewers are getting the chance to know Portia Williams' very extended family like never before. It includes familiar faces like her mom, Diane, sucker, and her sister, Lauren Williams, another sucker. But there are newer faces in the mix, ranging from older relatives to cousins and, of course, Portia fiancé, boyfriend, Simon Gabaldia. And if you think you've seen it all from the group's emotional trip to Cancun, well, think again. Lauren shared some sweet photos from the end of the Cancun trip for us to her Instagram that shows all sorts of adorable moments, including ones featuring her daughter Bailey and Portia's daughter Pilar. Okay, these cousins' moments m simply melt our hearts. You can click through the Instagram carousel below to check out the pictures. Really didn't want to um, put the kids out here. But, you know, if you go on uh, L.O.D. Wheel um, Instagram account and you can see those pictures of the cute little girls, um, what do you call it, um, familiarizing themselves with one another, playmates, of course. Hopefully they will grow up and um, definitely uh, be a force to be reckoned with. They're two gorgeous girls. I just hope they enlist themselves going to post-secondary um education undergraduate and maybe getting a graduate degree and doing their entrepreneurship the correct way okay because you know one when you're starting something you got to know something about it before you can formulate you can't just start off half willy-nilly learn from Portia mistakes and her parents mistakes before you can do something out there get the proper education and then do what you got to do but then going from there it says Lauren has been sharing all sorts of moments from the trip to Instagram that shares her uh, POV on the sometimes dramatic family getaway my family wore me the F out okay I'm sure they did because you have a chaotic family you have one side that's supposed to be civilized and well known in the community and hierarchy but we know behind closed doors they full of shit too got a lot of skeletons in the closet and they don't want to drop one bone to come out that closet okay but in a sense it has fallen out a little bit okay we just need to crack it open a little bit more and we will find a lot more skeletons and interesting conversation that we probably would be privy of and can find some more fault on how their family is so chaotic chaotic dysfunctional and really needs to stay off tv all right because that's why i admire uh the king kids so well especially bernice king and her mama when she was on this earth this planet of earth existence that we know of they shit shit down they kept everything quiet and if anything else stirred up it was after mrs coretta scott king died she had her family in check one two three this is what you do okay and we will not have any filler family going out there on my name your daddy's name or even a family name she shut shit down and i admire her keep stuff locked up deal with it on your own time if you need therapy we got you but you ain't finna go out here and tell our own secrets no none of that okay they don't they weren't there with us and they should not be a part of it in public okay we keep everything behind closed door we deal with our own issues we don't let our truth come out and they turn it and make it their truth no mm -mm. so i was i was there for miss Chris scott king and like i said i did meet her one day uh, a family friend of ours was a family friend of theirs and we were paying respects um to the deceased one and she happened to be over there with her care well, i wouldn't say caregiver but maybe uh, uh trusted uh female friend uh and she was very sweet very nice very soft-spoken just elegance you know just elegance at the making okay so i can't say i truly knew her talked to her from my perspective ace ace of spades real cool lady very cool lady um and you i would even treat her like royalty because she just exuded you know what i'm saying it was just like she wasn't pretentious she wasn't like full of herself it was just like a uh, everyday woman you know coming in giving her condolences meeting touching the family greeting them nicely everybody that was a 
apart. You know, she greeted them nicely. It was just a, a, a well warming reception. You know what I'm saying? Like, like y'all come over to the house and we just chit chat. Don't know each other from a can of beans and a can of paint. Okay, but we sit down. We have like minded conversations. And sometimes some of our family members get rude. And we just have to throw them to the wayside and say, okay, when you add one, add right. You come on back to the table right now. You just need to go sit in the corner somewhere. Because don't nobody want your spirit. They don't want your time or, or, or any or any observation you want to give us at this time. Because you're being rude. And you're being stupid so we're gonna put you out to the side and then when you're gonna come back and be in a playground with us and, and be able to hold a conversation and give your opinion without insults then you know we can do that but child like i said bless her soul rest her soul she was a dear soul when she was on this earth she was the epitome of class respectability and any other accolades you want to throw at her feet Yes, Miss Coretta Scott came. That's what I'm talking about. She raised the children. The children was kept in tow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, anyway, moving on to back to the article. It said, ahead of the premiere of the series, Lauren reflected on the group's trip to travel together to try and find some common ground. Writing famous last words, I think we should go on, on a retreat. If we go, do you think we should get a chance to unplug in Mexico? <laughs> and of course, we saw the catastrophe, the horrific undertaking that that was in Mexico. Okay. Um, Lauren also showed love to a special someone from the trip. Um, uh, I am Lena Franklin, my teacher, my spiritual counselor, my therapist, and most importantly, my mentor who believed in me. Took me under her meditation wing and got me my first paid meditation teaching job thank you for your wisdom and friendship i'm so glad we connected here now i'm like lauren um that's nice uh that this lady got you your first teaching job or whatever but baby we, we need you to do a little bit more better okay you need to understand what you're doing and how you're developing your curriculum uh, for individuals and because technically maybe she needed to I guess to be with you as your mentor to see if you could successfully um, start finish the session that you were trying to show us on the show uh, epic fail when it came to your participants you did a, a outstanding job from what you know for us the delivery of uh, the presentation you were trying to do but girl honey why would you do it on your family why would you let this be publicized and then you know i, I was glad you got on portia because she did not do the work she did not come to do the work she was just a self-pity party and trying to blame everybody but herself mostly she was trying to get in dennis ass because you know that's what her daddy basically taught her how to do was how to disappoint how to cheat lie uh be deceptive and tell some truth but not necessarily the truth you see what i'm saying so uh i would have liked to see you do other classes um where you didn't know the people and you couldn't be biased to a certain degree because a lot of things you let uh dennis slide on like technically he shouldn't have brought nobody uh technically portia should have been very selective on members of the crew that came because the assistants could have just been left out you didn't need dom you didn't need lauren okay they were non ml factors of the situation because if one of y'all got mad at them they would not be at any more house greetings house parties any of that because you just showed us how well you didn't show us but dennis broke the message on he had to let Lundy go from doing events for him because you didn't want her to make that money. You know, you, you wanted her to mind. She can't work for both of us or whatever. Why couldn't she work for both of y'all? See what I'm saying? So, you didn't have that situation under wraps. Because I would have told Lundy too. I mean, uh, Portia too once we were settling things. How you going to take somebody's money off somebody's livelihood off their plate? why are you gonna do that you know we would have broke into all that kind of stuff and, and, and let her understand how she affected her cousin's livelihood you just don't do that you know what i'm saying oh, you have a conversation with both parties present and you know feel or, or tell them what you feel and how you want to see things going forward that would have been a little bit more but you know that's just me on the outside looking in i think you did a fabulous job as far as the presentation but your participants weren't willing 
<laughs> and I would have cut this shit short and still got paid. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you can't have a successful session when you got unwilling, unwilling participants to participate in being and doing well for themselves and learning skills to harness for when they are acting out or they feel like they want to act out for the negative. If you don't have anybody participating, it ain't going to work, baby. It ain't going to work. And you're just going to have this mess of a... Uh, artistry we have here with this relationship that nobody's believing okay and as quiet as it's kept lives i'm gonna speak it out tisa tells us on her channel see i'll go on over there girl because i was there earlier she was talking about simon gambardia you don't like black women i like what are you kidding me he has a black mother what do you mean he don't like black women okay now i have heard that he said he had the help women these days he feel like that the women that he keep attracting himself to or he's attracted to is women that he feel like he has to help <laughs> i said you need to be a counselor man you don't need to be dating nobody you just need to be helping as a community since you like helping folks okay but uh yeah that's all i got y'all it's kind of crazy out here on these uh social media realms these streets the youtube community but y'all just have to take it all in stride okay make your own observations you know some of the stuff we be saying or i be saying half of it half of it allegedly you know what i'm saying we just having conversations over here that's all to buy some time from the rigmarole the mundane lives that we do live here and there you know what i'm saying because they ain't really giving it to us on television these days so we tend to go to facebook youtube and find our uh creative creative creators out here that want to tell a story or want to invite you into their platform and y'all have a discussion on certain things minds happen to be daily living or just you know somebody out there just doing some stupid stuff that you used to admire or you just used to like you know what i'm saying then they just doing all outrageous outlandish type stuff and you have to have an opinion on it but that's pretty much what my youtube station is about just breaking into conversations not saying we right not saying we wrong but just having a cool conversation sitting down winding down and just talking enough until we get tired and we can go say our prayers and, and kiss our family good night <laughs> saying but yeah lord 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 like my uncle used to say lordy 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 so love y'all all continue to keep the conversation going in the chat section and i will get with y'all in the next video love you guys remember like share and subscribe good night